Yes, it's possible to write formulas in Power Query. And there are many functions available to us, and you can find them at this URL that's provided in the workbook. So let's look at writing a formula in Power Query. All right, we have this data about agents, and we're going back and auditing some licenses because there is some fishy stuff that we want to investigate. Let's look at Arrow. Took course one, started it the 24th of August, 2017, and course A1 is given 90 days to complete in order to remain licensed. Somebody else is going to find the actual completion. What we want to do now is find the deadline, and then we'll compare them later. All right, let's take this data into Power Query. Click inside the data set from table slash range. OK. We do not want a date time in that started column. We want a date. Yes, replace that current step. Now we're going to use this funky function. Let's go to add column, custom column. This is what we have to do in order to add the days allowed to the day started to find the, what we're gonna call this column, deadline. All right, we have to use a function called date.addDays. There we are, and we have IntelliSense. This is really recent in coming to Power Query. It didn't exist for a long time, so let's double click it. All right, add days. I'm gonna space, open parentheses. Now it's giving us some clues about how this function works. We want to put started, double click that, comma, number of days as number, okay, days allowed, close parentheses, okay. So Arrow had until the 22nd of November 2017 to complete course A1. And when we get that information about when Arrow actually completed, then we'll be able to do the comparison and find out if there was indeed anything fishy. And that's one example of writing formulas in Power Query.